Okay, here we are in Castle Hill. Uh, we're just installing a pool cleaner version 2. I'm just setting up to show you the correct hose length. So you take, put the hoses in back to the skimmer box and run the hose across the pool to the furthest part of the pool. And you want one full length of hose outside the boundary of the pool. So we've got one and a half, so you want one full length and the half doesn't is neither here nor there. If you've got exactly two, you pull it back so it's exactly one. So you want one full hose length. That leader hose needs to be outside the pool and no more than two full lengths outside the pool. Okay. Okay, so with this pool here, and with a lot of pools uh, we, we have as energy efficient pumps, there's a speed control valve down under here, which you use to set the speed of the cleaner going around it between 11 and 14 revolutions per minute of the, uh, the wheels. You must set that based on your uh, medium speed or the speed is going to work for the most amount of time. So this is going to work at medium speed. So what we need to do is get the get the pump primed up, put it on medium speed, and then do our test and measure of um, how far that valve needs to be screwed up to to have it achieve 11 to 14 revolutions per minute. So we're going to do the speed now. We've got the pump set on medium speed. I just pull this up so I can see what's happening with the uh, wheel. It's good with these new ones because they've got the mag wheels on them so you can trace through. We want the other one that doesn't reverse on us. So you want the right hand side wheel that's constantly going forward. And I just do sort of one Mississippi, two Mississippi and, and count to uh, hopefully have this so it comes around in one rotation in five seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi. So maybe just a little bit too slow there. So in the bottom here is a speed control valve. Pull that out. So you can screw that tighter to make it faster or open it up. And what effectively what you're doing is closing and opening this little hole in the back here. So opening that hole creates more bypass of water through there and lowers the flow through here. Screwing it up nice and tight reduces the flow through there and increases the flow through the main pipe. So that's pretty much a, a revolution every five seconds, which is 12 per minute, which is spot on perfect. So another thing you can do, see these little, can you see these little fuckers there? I'll pull this out. So if you've got a situation where you just can't get, seem to get to stop this thing from climbing the walls, you can take one of these two little flaps out and what you'll do so it'll be like that like it's had its teeth knocked out but what you'll do is lower the amount of suction that this has uh, driving up the wall so instead of driving up the wall and getting right to the top it'll start to go up the curve and then it'll break off some of the other things you can do is move these a bit closer to the head again to give it a little bit more this is a float and as it to give a little bit more break off the wall as it floats up like that these float and it'll break off the wall in extreme situations where you've got huge suction from a say two horsepower pump you can actually put a series of one two three four five floats very close to the head and that'll break it off the wall as well but the beauty of this one is it's got the energy efficient pump so we can program it to work at the correct speed very easily 
really it's as simple as that get the right length make sure your speed sitting at about that between 11 and 14 mark and um, the cleaner will keep the pool beautiful clean all year round